Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk about eating healthy while eating out or getting takeaways. Um, because let's be honest, it's amazing to be able to go out to dinner with friends or family or just to spend some quality time with the family at home with a movie on a Friday night and some takeaways. Um, but we can still do this with and still be healthy. Um, so today I have five tips that hopefully will help you to um, stay healthy and stay on track with your health and fitness goals while also be being able to eat out and um, or to enjoy a takeaway now and again. So before I start with the tips, the first thing that I want to actually mention is that it is quite important to remember that eating out or getting takeaways should be something that's done as a special occasion or as a treat. It shouldn't be something that's done too often. The main reason for that is if we think about um, the main goal and objective of a restaurant or a takeaway outlet, it's basically to get you to come back, to come back, to order again or to eat there again. And to do that, they need to make the food tasty. So it makes sense. And But unfortunately, to do that, they add a lot of salt, um, sugar and also fat in the form of oil or butter to make the food taste um, so tasty. Now, if you think about that in a health or weight perspective, that unfortunately might actually have a massive impact on your health and fitness goals. So having um, takeaways or eating out regularly will definitely um, lead to you struggling with achieving your goals if you do have them. So that's the first thing you keep you have to keep in mind. So if you are going to cook at home, at least you know exactly what you're gonna put into the meal and you can control the amount of oil um, or butter, fat and um, salt that or sugar that goes in. But anyway, so the first tip I have is to try and stick to restaurants um, that actually don't serve buffets or all you can eat. So in other words, try to stick to one meal if you're going to eat out or going to get takeaways. So it's very tempting to want to order a, a starter and a dessert and a main meal, but I recommend rather just sticking to one meal. Um, the, also, the thing with takeaways and buff oh, I mean um, buffets and all you can eat is it's often quite expensive. So we typically want to get our money's worth. So we end up eating a lot more than what we typically would if we were just to order a normal meal. So try to keep it simple and stick to one meal and not go all out when it comes to buffets and so forth. And it always ends up being more expensive and we're not necessarily getting in all the food um, you know, for that price at the end of the day. So that's the first tip. The second tip I have is actually to, um, when you get to a restaurant that you know they're gonna serve um, a form of a bread basket or something like that, um, I recommend once you sit down to actually ask the waiter to not bring it. Um, it's a lot easier. I mean, it's it's basically, you can only just do it. If, if if there's no bread, you won't be able to eat it. So, But if it's on the table, nice and warm and steaming and there's butter, of course you're going to be tempted to get that um, roll and, and put some butter on it. So just a quick note, there's nothing necessarily wrong with bread and having some butter on bread. It's just that having that on top of your meal is really going to add an additional amount, quite a significant amount of um, extra carbs and um, calories, which we don't need. So once you sit down, ask the waiter to actually then just don't bring it because then you won't be tempted to have it. The third tip I have is to, even if you're going to um, eat out or get takeaways, is to ask for the sauce on the side. So sauce, again, is loaded with fat and sugar and salt often. So um, And they typically drench the food in it because it really amplifies the dish. So if you ask for the sauce on the side, you can control the amount of sauce you actually add to your food. And then I recommend being conservative with the amount you add um, to your meal. For let's say, for example, you're having steak, ask for the pepper sauce on the side. The fourth tip um, I have is actually if you are very determined and motivated to really stick out and, and achieve those health and fitness goals and you kind of have a little bit of an anxiety around the fact that you don't actually want to eat out, you don't want to get takeaways because it's gonna it's not in line with your eating plan, I actually recommend downloading um, or going onto the internet and looking at the menu of the place that you're going to visit or the takeaway outlet that you're going to um, use. And typically, it would even be better if you do this after you've already had a meal. So let's say, for example, at lunch or at breakfast, after you've had your lunch or breakfast, look at the menu and already decide on one or two options that you're going to have for dinner at the restaurant or um, if you're going to order takeaways. Because this then helps you make an educated, non-hungry decision on what you want to eat. And then at least you can decide 
on a better option and because often when we get to a restaurant and there's friends or family we always just want to catch up and we're talking and the waiter's coming and asking like what you want what you want and we we typically don't have time to look at the menu and make a proper decision but if you've already done that beforehand then that's um out of the way and my final tip i have is actually to try and keep your basic um meal building um or menu plate um, um, plate rather in the back of your mind so trying to have a balance in other words a carbohydrate a protein and a fat and a form of vegetable or salad on the plate so even if you eat out try to think of that so in other words for example a burger if we're thinking about a burger the patty would be the meat or the protein then of course there hopefully would be some form of um, lettuce or tomato so i recommend that would be then typically the veggies or the salad and then the bun would then of course be the carbohydrate fat would be incorporated into the burger by the means of either sauce or the way that they've cooked it so in terms of a burger there's nothing wrong with it just try to go for a, a basic burger try not to go all out in a t in like a crazy mac and cheese deep fried type of burger and there's often um, restaurants that serve that try to go for a basic simplified version of a burger and then skip the chips if let's say you really love the chips and you want to have it then remove the top bun of the burger and then have just a small portion of chips on the side so share your chips maybe with someone else but then at least you've cut out the a, a, you know excessive amount of bread because often the buns are so massive in any case and then at least you can still enjoy a little bit of chips on the side the same goes for something like a chicken snitchel the crumbs on the chicken snitchel would typically already be the carbohydrate portion so then go for a salad or veggies on the side instead of chips so i hope this has been helpful let us know if you have any questions via email or whatsapp we're here to help you and i hope you all have a wonderful weekend